Good afternoon, Johnny here at One Man Stream, and as you can see, I'm just outside Disneyland Park, about to head in for some 30th fun. This year is the 30th anniversary grand finale of the 30th celebration here at Disneyland Paris, and I'm heading in to check out what I can see and experience it for the final time, because when I come back next time, it will have finished. I also have the Lion King show, Disney Delight, Disney's parades, and all sorts of rides. So, let's head inside. It is absolutely freezing here at Disneyland Paris, but the magic will keep us warm. Let's go in. Okay, starting off at the 30th entrance. It is beautiful. I love it. It's fun. It's creative. I really, really like it. Okay, let's go under the Disneyland train station and head in. Okay. As you can see, by just walking in, the park is really empty. Mainly because it's probably freezing for most, but there is even lights here in the garlands. I love that here at Disneyland Paris you can come in underneath the centre of the Disneyland train station. But you still can't quite see the castle due to the bandstand. Is that what they're called here? But here we are at the top of Main Street, City Hall to our left. I don't care how many times you come in here, it still gives me the feels. It's so quiet, even the Disneyland transportation is running, which is super cool. Let's head down Main Street. Here we are at the top of Main Street, Sleeping Beauty Castle looking beautiful, and I just love this Main Street. The sounds, the sights, it's just really, really pretty. Let's head down. Doesn't get any less magical walking down here. Just walking down Main Street, USA. I mean, the fact that it is so quiet and so empty is amazing. There's loads of room to get around. Oh. You can't help but smile when you walk down here. You really, really can. Okay, it says a 10 minute wait for single rider, but I think it'll probably be a walk on, so let's do Hyperspace Mountain. You can't beat Hyperspace Mountain. It is my favorite space mountain that there is. I love it. It is super comfort, it is super fast, it is super fun. Favourite by a long way. Okay, next attraction. Let's see how many we can do. I don't know if it's always like this or January is just a real special time to be in the parks because I've just walked from Discoveryland to, well, just outside It's a Small World and I've just seen Ariel, I've seen Geppetto and Pinocchio meeting. I can see Tweedledum and Tweedledee. Are these characters always out like this? Let me know in the comments down below because I don't remember seeing so many in last June when the park was so busy. But I've seen so many to, like, over the last two days. It's incredible really. Okay, as a sweet treat, I got the mini crepes with Nutella and a hot chocolate. And that was eight euros for the two, which I think is a bargain for Disney prices. I'm really shocked. Now I'm going to eat and warm up. Let's give these crepes a try. They're nice and warm. Nutella. <laughs> Oh my god. They're really good. And for eight dollars, eight euros with a hot chocolate. I think that's really, really good value. And that's better than Mickey's very Merry Christmas party hot chocolate by a long way. Now I've eaten. 
Just a quick walk around Fantasyland. It's a lot easier to get around Fantasyland here. We've got a Dumbo for the flying elephants. And straight in front of us we've got the carousel. However, I'm going to head through the castle and head down. Look how pretty this park is, it really is. Like these fountains and waterways. It's such a pretty, pretty park. So a lot of you have told me to come into Le Kenya du Dragon. So, as requested, let's go and visit underneath the tunnels of the castle and I believe a dragon. Wow. Okay, Disneyland Paris, you've excelled yourself. How incredible. Okay. Carry on our walk by heading back into Frontierland. And hopefully, I think it should be a low enough weight to ride Phantom Manor again. Maybe third time's a charm. So we'll head up there and see what the wait time is. I also want to ride Big Thunder, but I'll probably do it during parade time. So I think it'll be uh, quite quiet then. I do love the detail from this bit here, so as you come out of the stretching room, leading you forward is incredible, I love it. And then this section where you board your doom buggy is really cool and I love it. The theme is brilliant. Third time. I just feel like it lacks something. I think that the talking busts, the singing in the middle kind of feels like they were thrown in there. I don't really know why they're there. The end feels rushed and doesn't really feel much point to the story. I get that you're descending into Thunder Mesa and the ghosts, but I just don't think it's very good. I think the Phantom could play more of a role and tell more of a story in The Bride. If you hadn't read the book or done your research, you won't really know what it means. Yeah, I just, it's the beginning bit as you walk in, I think the detail as you come out of the stretching room is wonderful, I think I feel like the stretching room is really nice, I love it in there, the detail from the stretching room to getting into your doom bug is cool, the fact that you have to bring your own lap bar down, I wish that kind of the ghost host brought that down, there is no ghost host, the seance scene is quite good, but yeah, all over, it's just, yeah. It's not as good, I'm telling you now, it's not as good. And if you love that more than Haunted Mansion, then let me know in the comments because I'd like to meet you. <laughs> and I shall just nip through the secret passageway, connecting Frontierland to the top of Main Street. That is such a handy way to skip through. I love these little secret passageways and back entrances, see stitches meeting and greeting over here, but I love that you can just go from place to place and skip through, love it. If you are looking for the casting agency door, there it is, Disney Park casting agency, it takes people to make a dream a reality, Walter Elias Disney. It's next to Walt's restaurant. You can't help but love the kinetic displays here in the hub. There are 30 of them, only in Disneyland Paris Park for the 30th anniversary. Much like the golden statues in Walt Disney World, but again, I think better. I'm wondering if they had a bigger budget than Walt Disney World's 50th, because these are really cool. So we've got Dumbo, Tigger and Pooh, and 
the Cheshire Cat, which is fun. I like him. So I'm early this time, I'm about 25 minutes beforehand, but I'm sticking my place for Dream and Shine Brighter, so I've got Sleeping Beauty Castle there. People are already really lining up here. But the best place to stand is here next to one of the podiums. So this is my spot and I am gonna stake it. Okay, I've just come back down to Frontierland. That show, Dream Big, Shine Brighter, is incredible. As soon as it hit the bottom of Main Street and the music started and ready for the ride, I'd gone. I had gone. Then as it kind of progressed through and... Monkey Silumi? I'd gone again. Ignore the pronunciation, pronunciation but... I love and adore that, uh, that show. I think it just epitomises everything a Disney celebration should be and a million times better than that of the 50th anniversary for Walt Disney World. It is now starting to get a little chilly, which means it's probably time <laughs> to ride Big Thunder Mountain. Let's go. Big Thunder has my heart here in Paris. What a ride. What an incredible ride. Okay, now the ride's done, I'm gonna to head to the back of Frontierland. In this corner is Frontierland um, Theatre. And randomly, The Lion King Show. Not too sure how it fits into Frontierland, but I think I'm just being picky. This show is supposed to be incredible and better than Walt Disney World. I cannot wait. It looks fantastic. It's a 30 minute show. I also pre-booked my place. I secured it. You can do it on the Disneyland website. It was 12 euros, which for me is perfectly fine. And it gets me secure viewing and a better seat, I think. So let's head in. It starts in 25 minutes. So let's go. Wow, this is a nice theatre. Nice to put my feet up for. 45 minutes.
what a show that was. Lion King, the rhythm of the Pride Lands here at Disney's. Disneyland Park Paris is the best Lion King show I've seen. The music, the sets, the cast, incredible at the Frontierland Theatre. Honestly, I think it, it was the last show of the day and it's a quiet time, so there was plenty of room in there, especially if you're coming in January, but if you come in and you can pre-book, and it's within your budget, that $12. I appreciated this four of you though, which I always go back to. 12 euros is suddenly becomes 48 euros, which is a sizable investment, which I get. And I do wish that Disney wouldn't always have such a price tag. I've been keeping an eye on the, um, like, the lightning laser, the ultimate passes or whatever they're called here, and premium passes. Everything's been like 12 euros, so I'm not, even I'm not prepared to pay like 12 euros for Crush's Coaster, 12 euros for, um, it was even for Tara Terry this morning, 12 euros is a lot of money, especially if there's a lot of you, or even a few of you wanted to do it, so I do wish they wouldn't do it, but that show, I highly recommend, it is now half five, the sun is going down, it's getting quite cold, but, it is a beautiful park, and there's plenty more to explore, so uh, let's go. Well, I'm in Frontierland, I shouldn't really, but um, Phantom Man is on a five minute wait, and although I prefer, and I need to clarify, I prefer Haunted Mansion, but I don't dislike Phantom Manor. I could ride it for a fourth time. Maybe. <laughs> Fourth time's a charm on Phantom Manor, but now into Adventureland. I don't know if it's closed or open at the pizza outpost, so I'm going to try and find out because it is time for some dinner, but it looks proper nice. All lit up for the evening. Okay, as I now leave Frontierland, I'm just having a hot chocolate in my 30th cup, which is really nice. They are 15 euros with a drink inside, so I got a hot chocolate. Um, they're really nice, and the hot chocolate's lovely as well. A bit hot, but they're really nice, and I think for 15 euros, they're really good, so yeah, I'm happy with that. It will be my car cup going forward. So, I'm gonna head out, head into Adventureland, and uh, yeah, maybe ride Pirates, it's on a 15 minute wait. Five minute wait. Not even 15, five minute wait. Just to put into perspective, look how empty Frontierland is. I mean, it's only 10 to six. The park is open for another two hours and it is empty. But it's like here with a 10 minute wait. Beautiful. And after a walk around this park, the Disneyland Hotel behind me, I mean, can you feel the love tonight playing in the background? I'm gonna call this vlog and end, I'm gonna head up and head out. What a day. I mean, seriously, what a day. Here at Disneyland Paris this afternoon and this evening has been simply amazing. I really, really love this park. 
elements of it I love more than what Magic Kingdom. I'm going to say it. The 30th celebration is really, really special here. They have epitomised what Disney should be. Dream and Shine Brighter is incredible. It really is. The, the theme song um, to the costumes, to the actual way they perform on each stage and move around is just... It's fantastic. The rides here, Big Thunder Mountain is the best. Best Big Thunder Mountain. Phantom Manor, Space, Hyperspace Mountain, Buzz. They're just all brilliant. And it is a lovely, lovely park. I'm gutted I never came before last year. And this is only my second trip and tomorrow I'm back here again and I'm going to experience more. Because the characters are out. It, if you can come in January, with weather like this, yeah, it's freezing cold, but you know what? Who cares? Wrap up warm, get out, and spend time in Disney. This has been a magical day for me, and I cannot wait to do it all over again. And I hope you'll join me to watch it. Tomorrow I'll be back here for the final day, and I'm not ready to go. Seems strange, really. I love coming to Disney parks. The feeling that it gives you is just, well, you'll know. Thank you very much for watching. Like this video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to see more. And we'll see you guys next Sunday for another magical vlog. Good night.